think it's the job of uh, everyone else to try and throw a label on you. And um, I mean, ultimately, labels are, are useful because they allow us to throw things in boxes. But most of the things we're writing about don't fit in easy boxes. Um, to try and talk about existence and faith and belief and hope and doubt and horror and terror and frustration and pain and, and sort that through, those are, I mean, that's a, that's a messy world you're diving into. And um, we've never tried to throw ourselves in any box. And I feel like in many ways, music is best when it's outside the cage, when this, you know, animal's allowed to roam free. It's still got its fangs and, and claws and, and it's not fluffy at the zoo, you know. I think that's, that's where our music is, is, um, is best when it has a little bit of mystery to it. I tend to think of my audience as uh, pretty much myself when I'm writing the song. Um, I think of it as, I mean, these aren't, um, it's not some sort of Socratic process where you're asking these questions with some known quantity. Um, usually, I am diving into things I don't understand. Um, you take Needle and Haystack Life, for example, first song on the record, you're talking about um, chaos, basically, and trying to figure out, is there sense, is there order within the disorder? And, um, you know, I think that that's something that I wrestle with all the time. And, and to, to find beauty um, as kind of an anchor to, to tie the boat off and, and um, find some sense of order within the chaos. I think a song can do that amazingly. I, I think songs of hope would be great. I mean, we've always said we want to make music for thinking people. Um, but I think for a while there we were, um, you know, we were unsure as to who we were, trying to figure it out. I think with this record we definitely came up with the idea that um, we're not afraid to put our heart on our sleeve. We're not afraid to um, sing it out, as it were. And, and um, I think that these are definitely songs of hope. The, I remember reading this interview with Paul McCartney about how he, he was so thankful that he didn't sing songs of hate, that all his songs, you know, she loves you, yeah, 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 and they're all about love. And um, so for us, I think hope would probably be the, uh, the rallying cry.